Seattle recorded their first win of the season last week over Tampa Bay in the expansion bowl. Second year quarterback Steve Meyer led the Seahawks to a 30-23 win with four touchdown passes, two being caught by wide receiver Steve Largent. Meyer is filling in for the injured Jim Zorn, who was hurt in the second game of the season. There is a chance Zorn might be ready on Sunday, but Meyer, who completed 20 of 30 for 252 yards in the four TDs against Tampa, might be hard to move out. Sherman Smith is the Seahawks' leading ground gainer. His 94 yards on 19 carries against Tampa was the second most in the team's history. Defensively, Coach Jack Patera's club is a veteran unit up front with a mixture of youngsters and vets in the linebacking core and secondary. In the Tampa game, the defense came up with two fumble recoveries and four interceptions. Making return appearances in Miami will be offensive tackle Norm Evans and fullback Don Testerman. Both will be starting for Seattle. Roger Twibell, Channel 4 Sports. You know, we won our first one last Sunday against Tampa Bay, and uh, so this week has been a lot better, of course. I think that any time you get a win, it kind of brings the spirits up. Uh, prior to that, we, uh, we really had nothing to look forward uh, to or look back on. Uh, each team that we were playing was a very, very good team. They were legitimate contender-type teams. Uh, I think our spirit remained good. Uh, the attitude certainly has been good on our football team. But finally winning one, uh, even though it's, uh, you know, Tampa Bay and ourselves are both 0-4 and four going in last week. And it was kind of tough. Uh, you know, who's going to win? But uh, thank goodness we did because it, it certainly has made at least this last week uh, more comfortable. Tomorrow's game, the Dolphins 4-1 uh, and one on the year, and they've been improving quite a bit. Uh, what kind of a game are you looking for? Well, it's, uh, it, it's really hard for us to compete with a team like Miami. The, the, the fact that they can score from just about anywhere at any time has made them uh, what I consider probably the best offensive team we've seen. And we've played uh, Baltimore and uh, New England and Denver, uh, teams at uh, Cincinnati, uh, teams that are, are very, very fine offensive teams. And, uh, so I, I, I think that we have to be very, very lucky uh, uh, defensively anyway to keep the score down. Uh, we got lucky last week against Tampa Bay, and, and who knows, you know, sometimes you can stumble and fall. And oh, man, I tell you, this has been a strange week. You know, I've never watched the Dolphins' defense on film before, and I got to watch those guys. They're really impressive, uh, watching Den Herder and uh, Colin, and, and I'll tell you, Tim Foley's playing exceptionally well. I was glad to see him doing so well after the bad knee and all. And it's really been a, an exciting, interesting week for me. You mentioned Vern, and of course, Vern, you're going to be head-to-head -head with him tomorrow. Uh, are you looking forward to that? Well, I tell you what, you know, people used to ask me all the time, who's the toughest? end you go against and I'd say I go against him every day in practice and of course that's Den Herder he's strong and and uh, you know he knows uh, knows me pretty well so it's going to be a tough battle and I know that uh, it's going to be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to it. And Seattle has moved the ball real well and they have uh, three wide receivers there I bet you that probably 90 percent of the people in the country never heard of mm -hmm. but they're getting the job done they hustle and uh, I think it's been a real impressive team and if you'll stop and look back at the schedule that they've played so far that uh, really they haven't done too badly. Is it tough to prepare for a team like Seattle because they are an expansion club? No I don't think so because I said before I feel that uh, you know if we're fairly young team ourselves and uh, we have the enthusiasm of these youngsters here and uh, it's carried over to some of the veterans and uh, we look for it to keep keep on going along.